What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is it's a switch up, baby. It's a switch up, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it today. We watching South Africa most iconic cars, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. This is comment down below. You know exactly who you are. Thank you for the assist, cause you was the first one to comment it down. I'm ready getting this? This was dropped a few months ago. We got the BMW E30 325i up on deck, man. Oh man, let's see what they talking about in this video. I'm too excited to dive in this. I hope you guys ready to have some fun. Let's. Get it. Car street culture. The Russians have the BMW E39 M5, which is widely regarded by many car enthusiasts as one of the best handling sedans ever made. The Russians have displayed the M5's capabilities on public roads with dense traffic, weaving through traffic in such a way that even our local taxi drivers would be proud. But it's not advisable to drive like this. So our local taxi driver would be proud because your taxi driver would be driving crazy, y'all. Oh, let's go, though. You'll eventually end up as a RIP hashtag on Twitter. The Japanese have JDM, iconic cars such as the Nissan Skyline, Mazda RX-7, and the infamous Toyota Supra, okay. which is a car famously known for being able to output over 1,000 horsepower. And for our South African people, over 745 kilowatts of power without much effort. These JDM cars have a so we say power difference. She says seven hundred forty-five. Hold on, and forty-five kilowatts of power. KW QX. These JDM cars have appeared all over media. So we got HP. Y'all got KW. From car magazines to video games, and even the most popular. Hey, hey! On on everything, I had this car. I had this car. From car magazines to video games. And even the most right there, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on, look, I'm not even capping, I'm, I'm gonna pause it right there. From car I, magazines to video games. I'm not playing, my dog stuff was just like that. Look, I'm going to it right now, y'all think I'm playing. Look, I ain't capping. I just had to show y'all that, my bad, I know it's in the middle of the video, but I had that car, look. Not playing, I ain't playing, for real, that's crazy though. This crazy, let's get back in this. And even the most popular car movies out there. And cars like the Nissan Skyline and the Toyota Supra have become collector's items. The Americans have the LS cars such as the Hellcats, known for being able to put up... I got that car, but I don't got that engine. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go. Same amount of power without much effort and money needed. Now, in South Africans' car street culture, we have a few iconic cars such as the BR6 or more locally known as the Vura. This was y'all pushing over there. So I ain't gonna lie, I just be scared. Y'all be scared of getting in an accident? And the GTI, locally known as the Ripa. Oh, that motherfucker talking, ain't it? It's talking, ain't it? The Ripa. Leave a like and comment below if you want to see a video on the GTI. But the most iconic car in South African street culture is the E30 BMW 325i, or more popularly known as e Kusheshe. And in this video, I'll give you a bit of an idea on why this car is so iconic. Hey. Let's go, let's get it. I gotta get a little history lesson. I'm, I'm weak. Is this like out of a movie or something? What this clip from? That had to be from a movie. Hey, what movie is this, though? It took his friend, y'all. They kidnapped that nigga. Hey, what we got going on, man? What? what? Gangsters car. When is it? Makes sense. Oh, this is what we in the trenches with it in. 
Simple as that. This is what we sliding in. Okay, the gangster cars. Let's get it. Guys like Ronnie Nyagale and Israel Zulu. Which car? Hey, hold on. I gotta get their name because I we, we need to get on this. Simple as that. This car. When you see guys like Ronnie Nyagale and Israel Zulu, which Israel car do you Zulu. think they drive? It's certainly not a red output. Uh -huh. These guys are famously known for playing gangsters throughout their careers have always been seen driving Pusheshes whenever they are moving around terrorizing society. The Pusheshe is famously known to be driven by gangsters in South Africa, and this has been depicted in television shows throughout the years, in movies such as Mlazi Gangster, where a group of gangsters who hijack cars all over Durban are seen driving around in a Pusheshe. Okay, okay. This history lesson right now. It's also been depicted in TV shows like Yuzo Yuzo and even more modern TV shows like Bomor, depicting that this is the go to car gangsters use to drive around. For this reason, the Kusheshe is a staple in funerals, especially in the township areas, as when a well-respected gangster, a car spinner, or even a well-respected member of the community dies in the hood, the Kusheshe is the car used to send them off. The Kusheshe is the car used to send off such people, as the car is spun around the coffin or the hearse. This is known as the gangster's send-off. That's unique. That's really unique, man. For real. Them all. The Gushesha is the car used to send off such people as the car is spun around the coffin or the hearse. That's unique. This is known like as that. the gangster's send off. Uh, hey! 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 Stop playing. Stop playing. Hey! That's what we're doing next. And I'm, I gotta make sure CC in the cup for this one, man. No, this nigga not spinning. Man, I understand it's a tradition, but what if he tapped the coffin? You know what I'm saying? Let's see how, man, this is tough though. But I already know that I probably got the best spinner hitting this shit right now. Because he already know what to do. We doing this for the gangsters. We can't fuck up right now. But he hitting that shit. But I'm just saying. Let's go and let's get it though. I can't wait. Okay, here go a regular one. Hey, okay, I thought that was the coffin that went up like this that we seen on the TikTok. I said, y'all over there stunned in Africa. Uh, only in the motherland, y'all. But let's go and let's get it. When Pro Kid passed away in late 2018, he received the gangster send off as well, as a whole convoy of Bushesha showed up to his funeral to send him off to the office. Who is Pro Kid? Hold on. Pro Kid? That sounds like someone. As a whole convoy of Bushesha showed. My bad. Y'all can get on me for all this pause. When Pro Kid passed away in late 2018, he received the gangster's sink off. I'm about to say, who is Pro Kid? We react to the goddamn Pro Kid. That's why I had to take it back. That's dope. I was like, hold on, that name just sounds too familiar, y'all. Y'all was about to get on me. But that's dope, man. Pro Kid got the gangster symbol. Simple as that. As well, as a whole convoy of Bushesha showed up to his funeral we need to, do some to more send him videos. off to the afterlife. Oh! What the hell is this? Hey, I'm sorry with all the pauses. This is a real informational video, y'all. This video about the elevators. What is this? Because I want to react to this car. This is like a whole car spinning contest. Like, this on a whole different level. Why ain't nobody drop this down in the comments? Throw the assists. What's up? You ready for some stunts? He said you ready for some stunts? They got a whole timer. Go for the rip. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah. Hey, wherever they at, whatever it is, they get in the comments. Let's go. Come on. Hey, do this show still exist, y'all? Let me know, please. Because watch y'all be like, this don't even come on no more. If not, still let us know what it is so we can watch it. Spin culture. Plot spinning in South Africa is an official motorsport which originated in Soweto in the late 1980s and was performed as a ritual in which a stolen car was spun around to honor the deceased. In the early 1990s, spinning became practiced outside of the criminal world as it became more popular throughout South Africa. Spinning has since evolved to become more formalized as a legitimate sport, complete with promoters, performers and spectators. Motorsport go. South Africa now regulates and licenses spinning events. In 2012, Motorsport South Africa recognized an event in Soweto in which the spinners received official Soweto. motorsport licenses for spinning. In 2014, spinning was recognized as an official motorsport by Motorsport South Africa. Nevertheless, informal and illegal spinning events still occur. The most iconic car in South African spin culture is Iku Sheshe. It's powerful. I want to know, do y'all know how to spin? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all know how to spin? Do y'all know how to whip it? I want to know anybody in the family that subscribe. Do y'all know how to spin? Simple as that. But let's get back in this. The bus engine with its limited slip differential made the car easy to spin in tight and crowded areas. Even though the Pusheshe was produced in the late 80s to early 90s, it's still the go-to car used for spinning in South Africa, even till this day. Its 2.5 litre straight six engine is almost bulletproof and it can take a large amount of abuse from spinning and redlining for extended periods of time. And this is one of the reasons why it is still the go-to car used in spin events as most modern cars cannot take the abuse that the Pusheshe can handle. Yeah, because they don't make how they used to. So if you're familiar with the South African motoring landscape, you will know that the box-shaped Beamer, the E30, has a particularly dear place in the heart of South Africans. It has a nickname. It's called the Goshesh, which means the Goshe. the very fast. And so the every Goshe. time you need to drive a special E30, a special Goshesh, it is a very emotional moment. And um, even with my bias aside, I'm happy to report to you that this car lives up to its reputation. It lives up to the myth. It lives up to the legend. South African icon. The BMW E30 325i has a rich South African history. BMW South Africa created a few special edition BMW E30s over the years, such as the BMW E30 325i S, okay. which is a more powerful race spec of the standard E30 325i, made in the early 90s built for racing. More versions of the E30 325i S were later built by BMW South Africa that improve on the initial 325i S, such as the BMW E30 Evo and the Evo 2, which are more powerful lightweight versions of the original 325i. A limited amount of these cars were made, and they are highly sought after collectible cars by car enthusiasts all over the world. In 1985, BMW South Africa built the infamous E30 III in response to South Africa not receiving the E30 M3. The III uses a 3.2 litre engine, making it the biggest engine fitted on Ikusheshe from the BMW factory in South Africa. Only 204 of these cars were made from 1985 to 1987. The 333i is an extremely rare collector's item for car enthusiasts, which is valued at over a million rand today. The Koshesha wow. is staple in South African culture and history, in motorsport and in street culture. And let's not forget its iconic sound that will put a smile on any South African's face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go. Hey, that was a good little history, though, especially at the end, because y'all over there doing some special shit. They said only in BFW South Africa they doing the um S. It was it was that little that extra extra body only over there. What is right here? This is what it's talking about. This one. A limited amount of these cars were made, and they are yeah. highly sought after collectible Three, cars. 325 LS. Come on, man. Just a few of them. That's what I was trying to say. But let's go. Let's get it. Hey, this was real, like, informational. Like, we need to get go all the way back to the beginning. Let me know who the gangsters are. Simple as that. Then we need to get all the way back to this talent show. You know what I'm saying? When they were spinning. I need to know what this is. You know what I'm saying? Then, what else? What else? I think that's about it. But y'all need to get... This show now, y'all need to get this show right here. Y'all need to get this show right down here in the comments. Then this right here. Who is these two dudes? Well, you already said it. All right, got them. So be expecting some reaction videos from the gangsters. Simple as these two brothers, right here. Well, other than that, let's go. Let's get it, man. This was fun. This was fun. This was fun. Informational, inf informational, informable. Simple as that, y'all. But let's go and let's get it. South Africa, most iconic cars, man. This video is a little different. I love it because of the history lesson. You know what I'm saying? You bring your boy up to speed on some things. Simple as that, y'all. But let's go and let's get it, man. Hey, if you enjoyed this reaction you watched this video to this point, hit that like button. If you knew you're not part of the team, what you doing? Hit that subscribe button just to click the support. If you part of the team, keep a smile on your face. Stay prayed up. Get the comments down below. Please answer all of them. Get the comments down below. Simple as that. Have a blessed one, y'all. I'm up out of here. Thank you.